In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to set up hotkeys with the NinjaTrader 8 platform. Now, first, I do wanna I do want to preface I'm using the K57 keyboard. However, it's only because we have these hotkeys right here on the side. Another trader turned me on to this and I'm really loving the hotkeys over here on the left-hand side. Now, if I go right over here to key assignment, here are the keys I normally use. The one right up here, I have that set to my calculator. This key right here is gonna be my auto break even. And then G6 is gonna be the closed feature. So if you guys join me on the live stream, you see my stop loss move the break even relatively quickly. It's because I'm hitting this G5 hotkey. Now, if we come right down here and we look at the keystrokes, we can see this key right here. It's basically, I have it set up as control KP1, which is essentially the control button and the number one on the num pad. That's how I have that set up. However, there's more things that we have to do. For that, we need to come right over here to the Ninja Trader control panel. Now, from here, we wanna to go to where it says tools. We wanna to go to hotkeys. Now, from hotkeys, you can have all kinds of things set up. I do have I do have hotkeys set up for drawing tools as well, because if we scroll down here real quick, you can see my pointer, my crosshair, I have it set to F2, F3. You can see that I have, I have some drawing tools like the arrow line, I have the Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci retracement, all on hotkeys. These are on the F keys on the keyboard. But if you want to be able to move the stop loss to break even, you're going to need to go ahead and go right over here where it says order entry. From the order entry screen right here, you can see I have the auto break even. And that's going to also equal what I showed you guys in the IQ software, where it's where it's essentially the control numpad number one. Right now, I could set anything. If I want to hit cancel last order, I could simply just hold down the control button. It could be any button to hold down. In this example, I'm, I'm gonna hit control, and then I'm gonna hit zero and hold them down. And now you can see control numpad zero. However, I don't want us to have that set. You can also see I have closed position, control numpad six, and the OCO order, this is default control Z. So you gotta make sure these are set up. However, if you set up the keyboard and you come right into here where it says order entry, guess what? You hit the hotkey, it's still not going to work. You need to then apply whatever hotkeys you have set, close out of there, come right back over to tools, come down to where it says options. Now from where it says options, you wanna to go to the second tab where it says trading, click on that, and you must make sure this is selected. Right down here under general, use order, use order entry hotkeys, make sure that box is checked. If that box is not checked, then guess what? It simply is not going to work. Now, if you've ever heard about my fun and features and you wanna do, and you want to know the difference between the starter and starter plus plan, make sure to watch this next video right here.